Welcome, BCPS families. It's time for math. But before we begin, let's do a brain smart start together to get our bodies relaxed and our brains ready to learn. Hello, boys and girls, pre-K friends. It's Mrs. Ferdering from the Office of Early Childhood Programs. I'm excited to be with you today for math. But before we get started, Let's get our brains ready to learn with a Brain Smart Start. And I'm sure you remember there's four pieces to the Brain Smart Start an activity to unite, an activity to disengage stress, an activity to connect, and an activity to commit. Our activity to unite today is a chant, and it's about different body parts. It goes like this one arm, two arms, one on each side, one eye, two eyes, one on each side, one elbow, two elbows, one on each side, one ear, two ears, one on each side. For activity to disengage stress today, we're going to do some deep breathing. And remember, you take three deep breaths and you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Today, we're going to do drain breathing. And if you remember, when you do drain breathing, you get your arms, they can go out to the side, or you can put them out in front of you. And you grab all those yucky feelings that you might be having inside and scrunch it together. You can scrunch up your face if you like and breathe in through your nose while you're scrunching your hands. And then when you let it go, let all the water out. So we're going to do that three times. Here we go. Now your body's all relaxed. Our next part is the activity to connect. And for this, we're going to use one of the songs that are in your print packet that you got in the mail. And this is called Georgie Porgy. You might also remember it from your classroom. And it goes like this. I don't have a family member right now with me, but you can call one over or you can use one of your stuffed animals or we can pretend together that we're doing it and use our hands. Ready? Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, gave his friend a big high five. With his friend, he loved to play. A gift of a handshake he gave each day. Well done. The next piece, our fourth piece, is the activity to commit. And today, I'm going to commit to with listening ears because we have a fun activity coming up where we get to use paint and paintbrushes and ketchup and get to make a little bit of a mess. So we want to have good listening ears so that you don't miss anything. All right, I'm excited to learn with you today. Let's go. Now that you are ready to learn, let's read the I can statement for today. I can recognize symmetry in pictures. Symmetry is a big word. Let's think. What does symmetry mean? Symmetry means when one side is exactly the same as the other side. Have you ever split something in half? maybe like a sandwich or a cracker, so that two sides are exactly the same, that would be an example of symmetry. Look at these pictures. We have two pictures here. We have a starfish and we have a butterfly. If you draw a line, and this line has a fancy name, it's called the line of symmetry. If we draw a line right down the middle, of our starfish, one side is the same as the other side. 
Let's try that with the butterfly. If we draw a line right down the middle of the butterfly, one side is exactly the same as the other side. This is an example of symmetry. It's kind of like the sides are looking into a mirror. Now let's write the word. S Y M M E T R Y that spells symmetry. Pre-K friends, that is a long word. Your math brains are getting really strong. Here are some materials that you can use for our activity today. Paper, paint, ketchup, paint brushes, or you can use some other items such as a hole punch, paper shapes, shape tiles, and small household items such as plastic bottle caps, yarn or string, and small rocks. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause your video families so that you can collect the items or feel free to watch this video all the way through and then try the activity um, with your child later on. Hello pre-K friends, we're back. Now we're going to try to create our own pictures of symmetry. And so we have our supplies. Remember we talked about some paper, we have paint, we have some ketchup, and we have some paint brushes. And Juliet and I are each going to create a picture that represents symmetry. She's going to use some paint, and I'm going to try out the ketchup. And so the first thing that you want to do is take your piece of paper and just fold it in half. And that way, it will give you, if you can kind of see, it gives you a line right down the middle of your paper, something like this. And if you see, one side looks the same as the other side. They match, and the sides are the same size. Once you have your paper folded, pick a side and make a design with your paint or your ketchup but just do it on one side of the paper. So I'm getting my ketchup out. I'm going to see if I can make a face with my ketchup. So here's some eyes. Here's a nose. And here is a mouth. Mm. I wonder what will happen next. Oh, Juliet's hard at work making a design on her paper. And what you want to do next is fold your paper over just like this and just press lightly on it. And when we open it up, what you'll see are pictures that show symmetry. So you'll see that the two sides look the same. It's like they're looking in a mirror at each other. Are you ready? It's like they're looking in a mirror. Those are pictures of symmetry. So remember back, we talked about the starfish and the butterfly, and when you draw a line down the middle, one side looks the same as the other. It's like they're looking in a mirror. Here's some other pictures that we've done. We're making an art gallery of our pictures of symmetry. So we did this one with ketchup. Juliet did that one with some paint. So you can try this at home. Um, you can also use things like finger paint if you just want to finger paint your picture or if you want to get some pudding and put it in a plastic Ziploc bag and cut a little tip of the bag off and you can squeeze it on your paper. Um, those are some other ideas of ways to create pictures of symmetry and you can make a whole art gallery once it's dry of your pictures. Um, Pre-K friends and family, other ideas that you can do is grab a piece of paper, paint or just draw a line down the middle, and you can cut out some shapes. 
and see if your child can match um, whatever your design is on their side. So if I say, um, and this is a great idea too, it gives you a chance to use position words. So place the circle at the top of the paper and then see if your child can do the same thing. Place the triangle under the circle. There you go and see that and then keep on going with different shapes. It's good shape practice, shape ID, um, position words, and then you're also teaching that concept of symmetry where there's this line of symmetry down the middle and then each side looks like they're looking in the mirror, they're the same. Um, so the last one could be put your rectangle under the triangle. One other way you can demonstrate symmetry at home is to put your hands together and open them up so the pinkies are still glued together and touching and then look at them and say, oh look, the two sides look the same. It's like they're looking in a mirror. Um, so that's a nice simple way also to demonstrate symmetry. Um, one last thing you could do is grab a paper plate. You can draw a line right down the middle and just see, our line's not very dark, but um, you can make a line right down the middle and see if you can make a face with your child. You can use different things around the house, like maybe small rocks or pebbles, um, plastic bottle caps. Um, see if you can you know, say, oh, here's an eye. Okay, your turn. Now you put an eye on. Um, you can use some string for the mouth. Um, oh, here's an ear, let's see, or you can switch to and you put the ear on and then I do the other side. So just practice, um, just basic ways to kind of introduce that concept of symmetry and then when you're finished all your pictures, make an art gallery at home and continue to talk about those ideas throughout the day. You can also talk about it as you're walking around um, your neighborhoods or just out different places. If you see a leaf, you can study the leaf because that um, you could put a line of symmetry right down the leaf um, and just all different ideas to reinforce it. So well done, pre-K friends. If you would like to practice symmetry on the computer, there's a fun program that your child has access to called Wixi. You can try Wixi by logging into your child's BCPS1 account. Then click on the button that says Instructional and Productivity Tools. Scroll down to this picture and open a program called Wixie. Once you're in there, you can start a new project and have fun drawing pictures that represent symmetry. Here are some other ideas to continue learning about symmetry at home. You can create a butterfly garden with your child and see if he or she can create ones that show symmetry. Take turns decorating one side and then see if the other person can decorate the other side so that it reflects symmetry. You can also do something similar to what we did in the activity and use paint. Decorate one side and then fold it, open it up, and you have a symmetrical butterfly. Another idea is to spend some time outside and create symmetrical pictures with sidewalk chalk. You could also make an art gallery of all of your symmetry pictures that you create with paint, ketchup, pudding, or any other photos or pictures that you find that show symmetry. Continue to look for other items and pictures that display symmetry, such as leaves, snowflakes, some letters, buildings. Go on a symmetry scavenger hunt. That's all of our time for today. You did it. You learned all about symmetry. Well done. Now it's time to end our learning. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. See you soon, raccoon. Bye-bye, butterfly.
We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. See you next time.